Anissa. You and Ruthie get into a fight. Tell me about this, ma'am, and how it all goes down. She put her arm on my shoulder, her hand on my shoulder, and I like turned around and gave her a look. I don't remember any of this because it's probably something small and she's paranoid. She got upset and I was all types of bitches and f you. And then she was outside. She was like, give me the finger. And old me would have told her ass off. This me will intellectually put you in your place where you don't really know that I just, just played you. I will cut you with my words. Right. For me, I'm going to bed. I don't look like this because I don't sleep at night and I slept fine. And you know what happened? She still hasn't apologized. Hey everyone, it's your host, Devin Simone, and welcome back to The Challenge Aftermath. On this episode, I'm sitting with the cast of The Challenge All-Stars, and this time I have Darrell, Anissa, and Aftermath first-timers, Easy, Kelly, Ann, and Jimmy. Welcome, guys. So glad to have you all here easy you know i have to start with you i give everybody else crap so i can't i can't i gotta do it to myself too yes how does it feel to be back on the challenge to be here on the aftermath and to be interviewed by an ex-girlfriend how what's going through your mind well first off i'm very excited for what you've been doing with the after show when i saw you on Battle of the Seasons, your ultimate goal was to be the host of one of these things so congratulations first off um it feels good to be back. I mean, um, after being gone so long, you kind of just get the challenge mindset out and you get just everything else kind of out of your mind and to try to get back into that mode so quickly, it was fun. And uh, everybody here, we had a blast, I think. I mean, it was a good time and I hope everybody enjoys it. It was a good season. Anissa, now you, you've been here, right? It's like you never left, yeah. it's literally, you never <laughs> left. Um, do you feel like this season of the challenge though feels different to some of the others? Like, are you kind of getting flashbacks from kind of how it was back in the day? Cause I know the, you know, the environment's a little bit different. How does it feel to you? I enjoyed having a break from all the assholes. So it was really nice to be back with people that I've grown up with on TV and people who I hadn't seen in a while. Um, they brought a different vibe plus like so many people hadn't been on in so long. So it was kind of fun to watch how people were reacting to like challenges and living in a house again and sharing a bathroom, just watching kind of some people fall apart and some people thrive. I mean, it's interesting all around. So I was really excited to connect with old friends. It was, I mean, I, I wish they'd all be like this one. Now, Kellyanne, I haven't seen you in forever and I don't know if you even remember this, but do you remember coming down to Florida with bananas uh, back in 2008 and riding in my Volkswagen Beetle and hosting a New Year's Eve party? Yeah. It's good to see you again and to, you know, for us to both be a little more sober than we were back on that New Year's Eve night. When I don't know night. what you're talking about. <laughs> There's definitely pictures, I'm pretty sure, of you, me, you, me, and bananas on top of a table at some point. I don't know. I don't know where they can be found, but they may or may not exist. But so excited to have you here on The Aftermath. And I know everyone's excited to have you back here on The Challenge. Now, I want to know how long for Easy and uh, for Kellyanne, how long has it been since you guys have been on The Challenge? Like, what was your last season? Uh, I think it's been about five years or so for me. Not too long. Uh, mine, I think, was 2012 uh, Battle of the Seasons. So about nine years. Oh my God, that is nine years. Wow. Yes. That's such a long time. <laughs> um, that's a long ass time. All right, let's talk about this episode's challenge. Today's challenge is called Melt Away. I know some of you have seen this challenge before, but not quite like this. Today is going to be hard. Not only is the ice thicker, you'll have to know your challenge history in order to win. First things first, we're gonna put you into five teams of four. Each team will have their own station. At each station, there are two giant blocks of ice. Inside each block of ice are two shields with challenge names on them. So when I say go, you're gonna try and free those two shields out of the block of ice, race them over to your board, Place them in chronological order. Easy, can you set up the challenge for us? Like, what is it that TJ's having you guys do? Anissa or Darrell might know, or hell, Jimmy and Kellyanne, but it was a throwback to an older challenge. I don't know what season it was Battle on. Battle the Sexes, um, too. There you go. <laughs> Essentially, we had two huge blocks of ice, I would say four feet long, three feet deep, and each block had a 
two puzzle pieces in each one of them. The team to meld them the quickest and then put the seasons in order uh, got first place and we're safe for the day. Wasn't us. <laughs> So we, before we get into the fact that it wasn't you that was safe for the day, Darrell, what inspired you to step up as captain? Like what made, were you just going for that lifesaver or like what's going through your head? Cyrus looked at me and said, can you do it? So I said, all right, I got you brother. And a lot of people don't know this time I wrote all the seasons down in order and I was studying them <laughs> while I was on the toilet every morning. That's true. In the That's house. true story. I in the it. house. That's what took you so long? In the long? house. Every morning in the house. Yes. Yep. So I felt pretty comfortable doing this one because I knew the order of the seasons. So, Jimmy, things got kind of crazy in here, right? Like, I think uh, Arisa's is praying to the sky and, and I mean, people, what, what's happening? Why? It was supposed to be like a lighthearted, fun challenge. For me, it was actually traumatic. I was on a team with Beth and Mark. And Beth was doing really inappropriate things to Mark. And I had like a front row seat to that. So yeah, like it's supposed to be a fun old school throwback challenge. And I'm like, this is terrible. <laughs> Y'all, Beth, the, the things that she was saying and the things that she was doing, I don't think her children should watch this episode. She's literally like, oh my God, harder, faster, do it now like that. I'm like, that's not helping break the ice bath like she literally was like in a like a creepy like almost porno or you guys are on the same team what is the dynamic of your relationship well i went into the season like thinking i'm gonna hate beth um because my other og friends were like we don't with beth you don't with beth and then i go in there and i actually like beth Beth is like just a creature that you have to meet because she just brings like the best, like most interesting energy at all times. Even her her stretches, you should see her every time before a challenge. The way she stretches that same leg. Shut up, not that just same leg. <laughs> not the that same, same stretch. <laughs> Until you meet her, you will not understand her is all I have to say. Which of your OG friends, Jim, told you not to like Beth? Veronica still does not, you know, f with Beth and me and Veronica are like sisters. So I did feel like I was being a little disloyal to Veronica. But at the end of the day, I'm my own bitch. I'm going to do what I want to do. And I gave Beth a chance and I'm glad I did because I actually really like her. Kellyanne, your strategy seemed to be more along sort of like a twerk shop. That she looks so hot. Was going she through so hot. your mind for that strategy. Uh, well, we had a crack in the ice and we were just doing everything we could to uh, work on that crack. <laughs> <laughs> and I was using the heaviest part of my body and that happens to be my rear. But when that started to feel like it was going to come off, I used my elbow and my shoulder. Even at one point, my rib cage, that was bad. <laughs> so just using all parts, just all Anything parts. Anything that was knobby. So I would like, even my butt, I would like put my leg up a little bit and just get the bone part of it, you know? So Darrell, when TJ finally does give out some hammers, it was really impressive with how fast you smashed through that ice. Are you handy at home? Like, where did this skill come from? I, I'm not handy at home. You can ask my wife. I was just excited to finally get a hammer. I knew we was gonna be out there all goddamn day. So I said, I better get to work and get these puzzle pieces out so we could win today's challenge. Cause I wasn't trying to go on elimination. I wasn't trying to lose. I was team captain. So I just went to work. I knew the moment that we got hammers that was going to go south because you can't give Alton a hammer and not go south. The only rule once you have the hammer in your hand is don't break the pieces. And that's where it went downhill for my team. I was like, my, my puzzle pieces, please don't break my puzzle pieces because I know this is better than Darrell. So don't break my puzzle pieces because I'm going to get this like that. But... Okay. Pieces were destroyed at the hands of Alton. I cannot control that. I did my job, but it is There's what no it is. I in team, Jimmy. There is I, no that's I That's why I'm only team. child and I don't like sports. You're not an only child now because now you have a big sister, Veronica, a big sister, Sally. You got me. You got a whole family now. Yeah, I would just like to go on record though because Darrell keeps bragging about how he studied this every time he was taking a shit. I did. I and did he still didn't it. get it right. He still needed but to I check. But I won. It don't matter. I won. He did take that notebook to the every morning every morning in the house and i did my study Darrell, uh since we were hearing about your you know makeshift uh, squatty potty and how um inventive you are and quick with it let's see how quick with it you are with these random um challenge seasons what was the name of season 21 uh well i don't know them in numbers like that i just know them. that means i gotta say them. hold on hold on hold on no i know because after number 20 is cutthroat so rivals 
Okay. That's right. That's right. Season two. Uh, that is Real World vs. Road Rules. Season 19. Okay, I'm done. I already won. <laughs> <laughs> that means you got scared. You Come can't on. take the heat, Darrell. I already won. How are you going to okay, be able to? Okay, fine. I'll tell you what 19 is. i tell you what 19 is. Cutthroat is 20. So that means that 19 was... Uh, no, no, I know what it is. It's, um, it's, um, it's, um, Fresh Me Too. That is correct, Zara. All right. All right. right. All that Boom. time you spent Big clogging game. up the toilet really paid off for you. You're officially the Aftermath Challenge Seasons champ. So easy. Um, no. Darrell was obviously taking the books to, uh, you know, the bathroom to study. Uh, your team clearly wasn't doing that because you came in dead last. <laughs> what happened? Hey. They never got it right. Yeah. The house was on fire. I, <laughs> I, honestly, I, I mean, I had like maybe four to five of the seasons kind of figured out. And I was just banking on, I mean, hell, Katie was on our team. She's been on a lot of these. I thought, if anything, she could fill in the ones that she wasn't in, and it, it just wasn't clicking. And then, you know, the talking started, and then it just, you know, the house caught on fire. Kellyanne did tell me I had one wrong, but I didn't listen to her. If I would have switched it right away, we would have beat y'all far as like legitimately. First. Yeah, you would have beat legitimately. Yes, rather it was than... just it was the ruins no, and the, fresh meat no, or something. The only reason they won is because we had mad penalties, but Darrell, you won, so to you. She was mad because she wasn't in Beth's situation. She wanted to be where Beth was. On top of Mark. That's not even her type. My father. I don't like older men. I don't ride rides that old, Darrell. My bad. Oh, no. Trust me. Mark wanted me there. I didn't want to be there. Let's chat about the deliberation. So what, what's going through your head? I mean, looking at the game today, just Tech put a target on his back. You right. Know, just by popping off. And even when I said, I'm going to call you in. He kept going. So the first time I said it, I was just joking. But the more he kept going, the more I was like, okay, well. Right, then it gets right. disrespectful. Then it gets disrespectful. Right. So now, why make another enemy right. if he already was popped up for whatever right. you want to do? So he sealed his fate. You know, yeah. I, I love him to death. I love having him in the house, but. Right, right. But he, he shouldn't have tested me. Nehemiah says that he wants Tech to go against him in elimination. Where is this coming from? We love Tech. I have no idea. It's it's just Nehemiah being mad in the moment. Tech was talking mad shit because they were losing. It's Nehemiah being mad in the moment. He's putting his pride over like critical thinking. It's him just being mad in the moment. Were you surprised to find out that Tech volunteered himself in? Yeah, I was a little mad. I was like, damn, I sure they pick a hell of a time to win. I wanted them to fight. You know what I mean? Like far as in the, in the nominations, because I figured I'm safe, so I ain't got to worry about the drama. But for him to nominate himself, I mean, I could have still lost him. He probably would have still nominated himself. And Jimmy, if you were Kendall, would you have used your lifesaver? Absolutely, because I love power. Okay, <laughs> yes. So like, whatever, I would have just used it to see what I've done. To be honest with you, it's like, oh, we have something to use. I want to know what it does. I don't care about either two of these at the moment. I just want to see what happens for like the point of the whole entire game. So yeah, and I couldn't throw Darrell in, so I probably would have thrown Easy in. I already knew that. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I mean, it is what it is. And if roles were reversed, Easy, would you have thrown Jimmy in? Uh, not that soon. I not that soon. It. it was early. It was early. <laughs> Did you all think that Kendall was actually going to use her lifesaver? No, I had no idea. I mean, she was all over the place with that. I think she was really trying to figure it out, and I didn't want to ask her too much. I assumed not, but I was like, it's. Ke She's gonna do her own thing. She didn't know, how, was, how are we gonna know? She definitely wanted to use it. I was talking to her about it and if Nehemiah was like, hey, maybe I don't wanna go against Tech, you could have used it, but Tech volunteered. It would be kinda silly, in my opinion, to have been like, you volunteered, you wanted Tech, ha ha ha, let's screw it all up. So I didn't think it was a wise decision, but I was like, hey, if you're gonna use it, just maybe give the guys a heads up, at least a few of them, because I wouldn't want to be surprised by it. And I don't think Nehemiah wanted to be surprised by it. It's a very big house, but it becomes very small when, when you think that your name could get brought up and not know that until like 11 o'clock on top of a cold ass mountain. I mean, you know, you would rather kind of find out beforehand or just know going into that night you were safe because you didn't know what to expect. So at the end of the day, 
I was just trying to be, you know, very blend in as, as much as I can't blend in. But with the six foot, what, right. four dude, redhead, <laughs> you, so you're just going to blend in for the background? Look, not blend very in. Just try, blend just, in. Yeah, just trying to tiptoe on the marble floor. This was a very interesting elimination. Let's talk about that. Tonight, you guys are playing Going Out of Tile. To begin, you're going to start in your circle. When I say go, you will race out and around this open structure. Then you're gonna smash out your designated color tiles. One of you will be copper, one of you will be silver. Easy, can you set up this elimination round for us? TJ pulls out this bag of Carolina Reapers about two seconds before he blows the horn. How do you think that pepper tasted? They were gagging and at that point, Easy turned around. He was like, oh no, and I don't do puke either. So both of us were like, it was a dry heave. Yeah, it was like from the bottom of the depths of your stomach yes. dry heave. Like, like if it didn't come out of their booty holes, it would have shot right back up this way. And then right before it, when TJ blew the horn, Tech throws up immediately, runs through it and starts. I was like, absolutely not. If you had to be in that elimination, would you eat? Do you, how do you guys think you would have done? Oh, you just eat it. I still would be eating it probably. Um, I don't, I don't like spice. I mean, it's not that I can't do it. I just, the fear of vomit is so much more, is so much greater than the fear of my stomach being on fire. Like I can endure pain. I just don't want to puke. So I would, I'd have to talk to TJ about it. I thought they was overreacting. I always wonder if I understand the rules. My biggest concern is not <laughs> understanding what we're supposed to no do. No way. <laughs> always. All right, Jimmy, what do you feel about this elimination going out of tile? Tech and Nehemiah are the two like cutest, most single men in the house. And the fact that I'm gonna have to lose one of them tonight is like very annoying for my own personal reasons. So I would Why, much... did you have plans with either one of them? You know what, girl, you always have a, pl a plan A and a plan B. It's not anyone's business what plan A and plan B was. But I, yeah, I don't want the two hot single men to go against each other. Like this is not good for me. Did you ever make out with Tech? On camera? Or off camera? Was it good? I used to have a crush on him when I was younger. I used to have such a crush on him. Same, when I was younger. same, it was, it was good. same. Uh, yeah, I think he probably lives up to the hype. Does he live up to the hype? I think he probably does. Girl. I think he lives up to the hype. No, not you think he probably does. You mean you have experience that he does live up to the hype. I think he lives up to the hype. I love it. Get it, girl. <laughs> both. Get it for those of us who can't. Get, get it, girl. Because. I was definitely feeling tech back in the day. All right, everyone knows that on this show, I love playing games. And this one is one of my favorite. This is called Challenge Trivia Redemption. I'm gonna ask you a question that TJ has once asked you that you got embarrassingly wrong. You will have an opportunity to get it right and redeem yourself. Otherwise, you won't hear the end of it for pretty much ever. So uh, let's start here. No judgment though, guys, it's a safe space. I want you to feel comfortable. Um, let's start with Easy. Of course. Ah. Who was the host of the first gauntlet? And you guys cannot help. Johnny Mosley. So Mosley. your first answer last time was TJ Lavin, which was wrong. And you said Johnny Mosley this time, which is actually wrong. Correct. Oh, it's Good correct? job. Yes, uh, yes it's yes. correct. Good job, yes. Easy. Thank Good you. Job. Thank you. You boom, redeemed boom, yourself, boom. man. Thank you, Devin. Darrell. TJ stands for Thomas James. You were asked this Boss. on Double Agent. <laughs> the answer that you said last time was true, which was obviously wrong. Uh, and He looked like a Thomas James. He does look like a Thomas James, but even more than that, he looks like a what? TJ. Thomas Joseph. Bro, my name is TJ and it stands for Thomas James. Oh. Just yes, a Thomas, Thomas Joseph. Joseph. Yes, I, there we, there go. we go. Good job. And you redeemed yourself, Darrell. You were quick with it. You wanted the world to know that you learned your lesson. Good job. Oh, mm -hmm. I remember that. Yes, good job. Uh, all right, Anissa. In a standard deck of playing cards, all kings have a mustache. True or false? Uh, what you said last time was true. All the kings in a standard deck of cards have a mustache. What? True. It's false. So you are correct. They do not all have a mustache. It's actually one that doesn't have a mustache. Jim, I hope you're ready. <sighs> you know the tea and you're always in everybody's business. So I fully expect you to know this question. Like seriously, I will personally be disappointed in you if you don't. How much money did Banana steal from Sarah on Rivals 3? This was asked on Dirty 30. Jimmy, how much 
much money did Banana steal from Sarah on Rivals 3? So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the money and run, Teach. 100,000. That is incorrect. I got, yeah, I remember getting this wrong on Dirty 30. I remember the question I got wrong on Seasons. I don't know. 137. Why? 137. So last time you said 100,000, which was wrong. So you did kind of get it right. I would want to give it to you, but we know we stick to rules around here. So it was 137,000 and $500. 500. 500, you were 500 off. So close. Better than 100,000 though. Oh my God. I'm done. I'm done. 500, you're not going to give it to me? That's like price or right. I think they would give it to you if you're 500 off on the price or right. So Kelly, and both of these questions were asked of your teammate, Vince. Hopefully you get them right because he was standing right above you. Uh, and they were asked on Bloodline. Okay, Vince, in what state would you find Old Faithful? California. That is incorrect. Kellyanne, the first question is, where is Old Faithful? Google no. no. Kellyanne, <laughs> put your phone down. She's always <laughs> calling other people out, but doing little shy on her side. Wyoming. She said California the first time. It is indeed Wyoming. Thank I never you, said Google. it. Google gets a point. Kellyanne, I have another one for you. Uh-huh, let me see both hands. Can you hold them? I wanna see both hands. Thank you, ma'am. All right, can you spell column? Column, C-O-L-L-U-M, column. Sorry about that. C-O-L-L-U-M. Anissa, can you spell column? Um, C-O-L-U-M-N. That is correct. Oh. <laughs> but, but it was it was a good attempt all around, Killian, and it was a good attempt by all of you guys. And it's been so much fun hanging out with you. Thank you for being here, Easy. It's great seeing you again, and I'm glad yes. that it was normal because who knows this could have gone a bunch of different ways. That's a wrap on this episode of the Challenge Aftermath. Be sure to check out a new episode of the Challenge All Stars streaming on Paramount Plus. Now here's a sneak peek of episode four. Your next challenge, on the ropes. You're gonna race across the ropes. This is gonna be a really hard challenge. What's going on with Arissa? Arissa, I pray that you can get it together. Y'all can kiss my mask. What happens if he uses the lifesaver? No one's used it yet, so we truly don't know.